Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make this simple gear animation in Blender. Okay, so let's start. Press A, X and delete. Now go to the add, mesh and click on gear gen masters. Uh, just to note that this is a free add-on. So you can download it, uh, link in description. So increase the number of teeth as per your requirement. In my case I am using 60 and increase the whole diameter as per your requirement. In my case it is 8. Oh, let's make it more so 10 is fine for me now I need to make more gears so go to the add mesh and click on gear and master test and increase the number of T220 okay and increase the whole diameter as per requirement so I think this is fine after that select this gear press G X and move it as per your requirement so here and press R set okay so this looks fine uh, select these two and press tab press 3 on your numpad and select all the top watches here press G uh, sorry make sure that you select these two mods uh, so that you will select all the watches even though those behind so press G set and increase it let's say 2 and press tab so let's exit this mode so now gears are some thick uh, select this gear press n uh, you see currently the angle is minus 9.06 degree so we need to make it zero so how can we do that uh, remember that we are not going to change this value from here because if we do uh, the gear will rotate and I don't want it so press ctrl a and apply rotation here you see the angle is zero and the gear is not rotated uh, and that is basically what I want. Next thing that I have to do is go to the add and empty select the plane axis. Okay. So what I am going to do is select this gear. Uh, sorry, select this empty right click on set click on copy as a new driver. Now select this right click on that click on paste driver now right click on here click on edit driver click on here click on scripted expression uh, as you remember that this gear has 60 teeth and this gear has 20 teeth so what i can do uh, i'm going drivers here because the that is one here uh, so go drivers so the what is the gear ratio of that so it is will be uh, 20, uh, 60 divided by 20 so 60 divided by 20 into and put a minus sign because this scale will rotate in a positive direction so if i select this press r z and rotates you can see it is rotating one thing one more thing that i have to do is uh, select this gear and select this press ctrl p click on object so r z so if i rotate it uh, you can see it is rotating but it is not rotating quite right so let's see what I have to do so select this minus 60 by 20 3 times rotation empty let's remove the minus for a second and try it again R Z yeah so this is working fine um, now what we are going to do is select this gear and go here click on 3d cursor okay so select this press alt T R Z and 120 degree uh, 120 is not the R Z so place the gear so that it it is correctly aligned with it so we have placed one gear here again press alt d a question is why i'm pressing alt d why not shift d so watch the number of watches increase or decrease okay so if i press alt d again and r z you can see that number of watches doesn't increase or decrease okay so that is the reason i'm using alt d instead of shift d uh, if I press shift D then my number of watches will increase and that I don't want so if I click on this and press or Z 
you can see they all are rotating and it's quite good so let's see how to animate it so go here click on timeline rotate it down press 7 select this type hash frame and divide by 20 so if I click on play you can see I'm getting animation uh, I think it's still fast so what I can do is click on here uh, let's say 30 so if I click on play mm, let's still change the value to 50 let's click on play now that looks fine to me so in that way you can make this animation okay now for rendering you can simply select the material and give the material requirements per requirement so go here and click on new give the material so let's say a little bit black and metallic because they are metal that's the reason i'm choosing metallic and roughness to zero apply this material to all of them okay and press 7 and let's change the world background we bought okay mm. Seven and uh, let's size the grid so press seven so if i click on play so you can see this animation okay so you can render this out animation as per a requirement uh, so i hope you learned something from this video if you have any kind of doubts and queries feel free to ask and again thanks for watching and have a great day namaste